This is the Zach Ansbury Show. Welcome. Today's podcast clip comes from an interview with Professor Sharon Rundle Tealy from Social Marketing at Griffith University. Which ones would you recommend that people attend, especially, I suppose, if they're interested in social marketing? Um, look, my advice in terms of conferences is to go and find your tribe. Okay. So it comes early from an early mentor who suggested, like, never went to a conference in his own discipline ever. Actually hmm. went to completely different outside of the box because that was his way of actually generating ideas. And I guess early in my career, it made me realise that some of the work we're doing, you want to be inside your tent. Sometimes you actually want to be outside of your tent. And I learned very early that marketing was a really dirty word because I went to the Public Health Congress and <laughs> understood that firmly, easily, and started to realise why and started to actually think. So I think you need to just figure out what the main driving thing. So what's your narrative? Yeah. Who are you? What's your story? What do you stand for? And then to start actually building on that by just continually looking across some of the different opportunities that are out there. I do think you should pick a tribe and consistently, certainly as an early career researcher, be there, be prominent. Get in yeah. front of people. It's a great way to actually just help build up your own network over time and be known for who you are and what you do. But at the same time, if funding permits, can you make sure that you actually access other ways of thinking as well? It's important we don't get siloed. We have to actually blur the boundaries and grow the thinking that we actually have yeah. in order to make that next leap of faith. Yeah. Um, okay, so you recommend attending the same one, because they're usually annual, right? So just attending the same one, having that tribe of people, and it doesn't necessarily have to be within, I suppose, your discipline. Can you get to the point where you feel like it's your own party and you've walked mm. into the room where you know people? That would be nice. That <laughs> is an incredible level to actually hit, and that becomes the level of network of colleagues that you can actually utilise to talk to and understand where else and what else is out there. Yeah. It helps you form the teams to create the bigger pockets of work you actually want to do. Um, in terms of funding, we don't always have enough funds to be everywhere every year. Yeah. So maybe you could go every second year or maybe you commit early and invest in yourself and make some of those early years happen. So I will always go to this particular meeting. This is my local network. My graduates are going to get jobs if I know other people in this field. Yeah, it's a good and point too. And you've got to too. have a very long-term thought process here because your own success is measured on do my students get work? Are they strong enough and competitive enough to just walk into jobs? And once you watch, uh, if you've been around for a, a while, you start to understand that that is exactly how this system works. As humans, we're very comfortable with the people we know. Once you've established a reputation as being a person who delivers, everyone understands that the graduates you've coached probably are that same sort of like mm -hmm. breed. And so that helps them actually, it opens doors in a way that they might have been slammed shut without it. So for me, a really important part of the bigger picture of just getting in really early, having people being known and just making sure that you're helping creating the infrastructure that the people behind you need to. Yeah. Oh, all sorts of refreshing ideas coming from you today. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that actually in terms of it's not just about you, it's about your students and their futures as well. And I suppose that's a level of thinking it takes when you become director of a place. I'm not at that level yet, but that kind of... It makes a lot of sense and it's and it's your reputation which could open up doors for your students because yeah like you said it's your work ethic and and, and your quality of work that then they're going to um, associate with these students um yeah had never thought about it like that that's really really quite interesting hey guys it's zach ainsbury here with just a couple of quick reminders if you've enjoyed today's podcast then make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode there are plenty more interviews to come with some of the world's leading marketing academics and practitioners. You do not want to miss these. In the meantime, if you're looking for another way to connect, then follow me on Twitter at Zach Ainsbury. That is Z-A-C-A-N-E-S-B-U-R-Y for my take on the marketing issues of the day.